Uh, frustrating loss. Uh, we got to play better. We got to we got to make shots. We got to make free throws. Um, but like I've said, I believe in this group, and I, I believe that this group will play better. And uh, we'll start winning games. But um, as a team, we gotta we gotta you know step up and, and go out and take some of these games. We had plenty of chances tonight to really try to get back over the hump, and we just didn't do it. So as a group, we got to be better. When shots aren't going in for three or from the free throw line, did, do you think that do players have a tendency to hang their heads uh, on this team at times, or do you think that that was a? How do you think? You, what, what's the way to bounce back from that? I guess in the playoffs. No, you got to. When you got good shots, you got to take them. In this league, I mean, if you know, I thought, you know, we did a decent job of attacking the paint, attacking the rim. We had 52 points in the paint. Um, but, you know, there's a rhythm to the game, too. And if you start passing up good shots, you know, teams are going to load the defense up. And you're going to be driving into into traffic. So I thought a lot of the ones we took were good. We just have to, you know, we got to step up. Don't hang your head. Uh, you know, we're all professionals. So you miss some shots, it's, you know, make the next one mentality. And, you know, we got to get better at that. Look, you guys were down 15 in the first quarter. Oh, what do you think contributed the most to the way the game started? Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. We, we, we might have to do something to the starting lineup right now. Um, you know, every every game it feels like we're giving up 30 plus points in the first quarter. So, uh, you know, we'll take a closer look at that. You know, I really thought we'd come out with uh, a little better energy. And, you know, by the end of the games, we're doing a nice job of, of stabilizing our defense and, and getting the stops we need. Uh, but we can't just keep giving up 30 points to start the game. So we'll, we'll take a look at that and possibly make a change before Tuesday. Look, when, when you talk to him about that next loss, and you and Brian talked again about playing a team like this that lost 13 straight, what do you think the reaction was the way it was? Like they say down 13, 15 in the first quarter, and then come in the third quarter down again by 12 points. You know, why is this young group not, I don't know, I guess comprehending what you guys were saying? No, I think they're comprehending. I think uh, I think they're young. Um, I think that's part of it. I think there's a lot of variables that go into it. I think we come out with the right intent, and then you know guys miss shots, and then that naturally brings some energy down. Uh, you know, normally offense and defense, even though they're kept uh, as separate stats, they they kind of uh, feed off of each other. So I think there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I don't think our group was overconfident tonight to start the game. They were heads were in the right place. They had the right intentions. We just didn't get the job done. So, uh, you know, a couple times now though, that's been the case. So it's up to us to try to find a, a combination that gets us off to better starts. Coach, were you uh, happy just with the overall effort? I thought the effort was good. I mean, we played well enough to win that game. If you made, we make our free throws, make a couple open threes. You know, that's a game that we probably win, but we didn't. So give Cleveland the credit, but uh, I thought the effort was there. I thought guys were playing hard. Um, we had some nice, uh, nice possessions where the ball was swinging around from you know, multiple sides, multiple people getting touches. So uh, just didn't do enough to win. Luke, what's the frustration level in the locker room among your guys? Hopefully it's pretty high. Um, you know, that's a game we knew was very important to us. And uh, it should be, uh, you know, I, I can't give you a number, but it, sh it should be pretty high. Um, and hopefully that's an, an anger and edge that stays with us for uh, at least the next few days. It looked like they were also able to limit you guys a little bit from what you normally do in transition. Is that something that Cleveland did, or is that just a lack of initiative? Well, they, they were taking fouls whenever they could, you know what I mean? So it's the same thing Utah did. We got out in transition, and somebody grabbed our guys at half court. Slows your opportunities down. Look, when you say you still believe in this group, uh, what, where is that belief founded in? Because I see them every day. I see the way they work. Um, you know, I, I, I see, I've seen who we can be. You know, we had two big wins last week. When we were actually healthy, we went on the road and. Uh, beat the defending champs. Um, you know, we've had at times. I, you know, I know what this group is capable of. So, 
that's you, know, you see that you believe in it. You see it once, you know it can it can be repeated. 